righty, we have a Yukon Striker and Frontier Canada construction update. So if you haven't watched already, uh, a little earlier today, we uploaded a Frontier Canada reveal on the park map and other reveals as well. Um, I did not go over the ride name changes in Medieval Fair because I thought everyone already knew about those beforehand. So again, they changed everything from Vikings Rage to Nightmares, um, uh, Dragon Fire back to its original name, and Wild Beast. Um, but yes, as you can see in this footage, uh, two trains are stuck on the top of the lift. Again, they are probably practicing maintenance. If you think about it, the maintenance team needs to be trained on the ride as well. So they're probably purposely faulting the ride to train maintenance because as I noticed, they were purposely triggering events to happen, like holding the train on the final brake run to cause the second train to get stuck on the mid-course brake run. Now, what's really weird to me is I cannot see... I, at least I don't think I can see. I've been able to see all three trains in the storage area before. Um, but I don't think I can see a third train. We have not seen a third train on the track at all. It has always only been two trains operating on Yukon Striker, which is interesting. There is no sign of three trains. We watched very closely. Um, I have seen nothing for three trains. So it looks like something weird is going on. I have no information to present on that things do happen maybe they need to service the train it could be anything it could be and nothing at all as well um but as you can see the pathway over by where orbiter used to be it looks like it's done they are working really hard if you're watching this footage really closely there's worker bees all over moving around the queue line is installed so if you look really closely the queue line is well on its way down there um, it looks like they got the outer shell of the queue line. I'm going to be honest, it looks really small. I'm really nervous. Um, it is not nearly as big as I thought it was going to be, and that worries me. Um, I was expecting larger, and I'm a little nervous about that, okay? Um, I was there at Copperhead Strikes opening day, and there were people spilling out, and that was a pretty large queue line, so I'm nervous for the first, like, month of this ride and that queue line. Um, but nonetheless, uh, so as you can see that first building they ever put up with the shingles on, you know, with the little chimney coming out, that is going to be a Coca-Cola stand with, um, Ooh, what do you call them? It totally just slipped my mind. Funnel cakes. And, uh, it's also going to have butter tarts. The other little building underneath the helix is actually going to be the, um, I figured it all out. I got the answers. It's going to be, woo. Uh, the mess hall. So that is the mess hall. Um, it's going to serve Asian cuisine and alcohol. Um, over closer to the station is going to be where you can buy your on-ride photos. And then Chuck's Wagon is going to be over by the second element. And that's going to be probably very similar to Medieval Fair's little food truck looking like a wagon type thing. If not, maybe they'll reuse it. So that is what's going to happen. They're also building what looks like a building around the turn out of the station and that might actually be either the place where they're going to serve um beverages and uh snacks or it's going to be a reuse of Mindbusters uh bar that they had last year um and then there's that one place going over by orbiter by the looks of it it's either orbiter or near Mindbuster. it could be anything the map was a little confusing to read it would say like e4 but the building's actually like an e5 so um, it was a little misleading in terms of the legend. Um, other than that, uh, training or testing has been going really well by the looks of it. Uh, they got a new structure for another building all lined up. So you can see all the walls stacked on top of each other just next to that new building under the helix. That's ready to go for another new building. Um, I can honestly confirm with all the information that's come out um, and knowing and learning everything slowly that this is the biggest expansion in Cedar Fair's history. You're getting a massive coaster. You're getting a brand new area. You're getting a whole renovation of Medfair in terms of names and theming. You're getting new restaurants, new food, new buildings, new merch stores, and theming on top of that. So this is bigger than Copperhead's um, expansion. I was there. I witnessed it. It actually wasn't that large. It's a new midway at most and a remodel of a restaurant. Um, and then the coaster itself that's really well themed. And then Yukon Striker is actually a whole new area with some remodels of restaurants and some brand new restaurants as well. 
and some really awesome theming on top of that. So this is the bigger renovation and the bigger expansion. Um, and I'm really excited. I can't wait to show you guys in person um, very shortly what this is going to look like. They are really rushing. I am getting nervous. I'm going to be honest. Um, I don't know anything about construction. I don't know anything. You know, sometimes things can move really rapidly. But this does not look like it's going to be ready for um, Yukon Strikers First Rider Auction or even opening day. So this is... This is getting nervous. I'm a little nerve wracked. So um, yeah, other than that, I don't know if there's too much else to discuss. Um, you have the new events tent over in the Kingswood Theater area. And you got that brand new power station near the tunnel um, for the queue line on Backlot Stunt Coaster. It looks like they're rerouting the exit of uh, Backlot Stunt Coaster. And maybe they'll only have one queue that goes through the tunnel. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, but that's what it looks like from the footage. And yeah, they have tons of brick in storage ready to be laid down. There's some in the parking lot storage. There's some laid all alongside side Mindbuster. Um, and from what we know, again, Craig lives right next to the park. And he's telling me they're testing this thing all night. Um, and we're talking really late into the night. And from what I've seen, they start testing around between like 1 and 3 p.m., and they go until late at night. So they're really testing this thing. It's always going. Um, so if you want to check this thing out in person, obviously off property, uh, definitely go between those times. And you can see it. It's really cool to watch. Uh, it definitely uh, makes a lot of noise going up the lift hill. But it is a really beautiful coaster. And it's awesome to watch it. Um, but yeah, other than that, hopefully you... Oh, I did leave one thing out. So the station is looking really nice, actually. So it's now fully, almost fully enclosed wall-wise. Um, so they'll probably start putting on the roof and then the theming um, along the side. But it is looking really nice. It definitely stands out. It's a really tall station. Again, the drone footage doesn't do it justice. But when you're a person standing down there on the pathway, that's going to be a really large station. So I can't wait to see that. But yeah, hopefully you guys really enjoyed this footage. Um, hopefully this was a good update for you guys. Hopefully you're just as excited for Yukon Striker and Frontier Canada as I am. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Um, and also, if you really want to check out a vlog we did today while we were flying and filming this update, we posted a vlog on Amusement Outsiders, so go check out Amusement Outsiders on YouTube. Um, I'll link them down below, and there's a special vlog for today on there. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.